Hey, what's up, apes? Hope you all having a good day out there. I just wanted to give a quick shout out to all of you apes that bought the $27 put options as I suggested. It sure did pay off today. Again, this is not financial advice. Trade and invest at your own risk. And um, of course, also, I predicted the GameStop dip $250. So shout out to anyone who took advantage of that as well. And as I mentioned in previous previous videos um i've had some serious phone issues i'm going out to get a new phone today i just simply haven't had time so um i've been really lacking on um getting on facebook for anyone that follows me on there making predictions and um getting on here as well just having serious uh, storage and memory issues so um hopefully i get that going today because there's a lot of stocks i uh follow and um, make predictions on so uh, unfortunately about the last week or so I've um, really uh, fallen off keeping up to date with those predictions um, but if anyone is interested on any particular stocks let me know like I said um, I consistently make a lot of accurate predictions because I've done this for a long time and that's where I excel so keep holding no need to panic um, if you want to sell your put options you bought on AMC today, cash those out to, um, you know, ensure that you, uh, pocket some money in case AMC starts going up on Monday, you can do that. Or if you want to hold them, I don't know when your expiration dates are. Um, I didn't recommend any on GameStop. Um, like I said, I don't follow that nearly as closely, although, um, I am invested in GameStop as well um, you just have to um, do what you think is best for you what's best for you isn't going to be best for someone else but um, you know I've covered a lot in previous videos so I don't want to repeat myself today I just mainly wanted to give a shout out for anyone that took that advice um, and I will be back with a lot of other predictions I do want to um, say that on Facebook I've covered a lot about the uh, fundamentals and upcoming positive catalysts for tonics pharmaceuticals as well and um, I made a lot of accurate predictions on that right down to the tenths of a penny uh, those predictions are still on my Facebook but like I said I have to get a new phone we are uh, I think down to about 39 cents today. I'm waiting to buy that at 35 cents. Um, I sold at the last peak, I don't know, a couple weeks back. But um, I do predict we're going to hit a low of 35 cents on Tonics Pharmaceuticals. Um, as for now, that's my price prediction. That has been my price prediction in the past couple weeks. I've just been waiting to buy back in there. So if anyone's interested on Tonics Pharmaceuticals or you want to check out my... Um, you know fun, the fundamentals i've covered on tonics pharmaceuticals great stock just very low right now and um it's going to do big things in the future but um i think 35 cents is a good entry point um if you're a long-term investor so um i guess that's all i have today um i like to throw out a couple of extra things on the videos here and there i do want to say uh polygon is one of my favorite crypto investments i was recommending that at a dollar when it was a dollar 42 i believe um, i'm not sure where we are currently but i know we're um we were around uh i believe two dollars and 14 cents last time i checked great cryptocurrency um i've covered that one a lot as well on facebook um as i mentioned in previous videos um not to make excuses but I'm a single parent so my videos um, moving forward are likely going to be brief and to the point um, I'm like I said I haven't even been on Facebook I had to delete a lot of uh, apps and everything on my phone because of the uh, malfunctions it's it's been having but um moving forward um, you know I will put a lot of information on Facebook, but as far as the videos, they're probably basically going to be right to the point, and I'm just going to be mentioning my price targets, and um, you know, you can kind of go from there. Um, I'll mention what I think is a good price target to get in, and um, you know, if you have questions, you can ask me about those in the uh, comments. But as I've said in previous videos, I mentioned about the megaphone pattern several weeks ago, and. Uh, you know all I'm trying to do is help people make money 
and I think one thing lacking on YouTube is there's not a lot of accurate price predictions so I'm gonna do better about trying to once I get my new phone um, I'm gonna try to get uh, back on here and try to make um, more accurate price predictions but the thing I don't want to do is just have stocks all over the place so if if anyone um, I know I don't have a big following yet or anything but if anyone who is watching has any stocks they prefer me to cover or anything they're curious about feel free to let me know and again you can check me out on Facebook um, it's Jason McCutcheon M C C U T C H E O N. I have a small circle and I like to keep it that way, but I do share everything publicly, so you can just follow me on there. And um, you know, I've, I've, I've shared a lot of uh, detailed information about the market in general, the economy, as well as stocks and uh, crypto. So, anyways, um, that's about all I have for today. You all have a great day. Keep your heads up. Keep holding. Um, and you know, as I've said. I'm, prior videos there's no need to fear the lower we go the closer we get to the short squeeze um there's a lot of uh videos out there saying you know short squeezes any day now you know remember i don't want anyone to be disappointed you know there's going to be a lot of ups and downs you know i think shorts are going to try to drive the price up and then drive it back down you know they want to get it up there they want to filter out apes they want to get it back down they want to keep you discouraged you know, this isn't something that's going to happen overnight. It's, you know, this is an ongoing battle. So just keep holding and um, everything's going to be fine. But it's 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 still going to take some more time. And as I've said, the stock market crash will be the main catalyst for AMC and GameStop. You know, I'm, excuse me, GameStop. Um, you know, as stocks and cryptos bleed, where's that money going to go? So, you know, just keep holding. And, um, you know, you're in some, some smart plays here. Um, this is one of those things that takes patience and, you know, you just can't get caught up in your emotions. And, you know, I think these videos that are the past year have been pushing, you know, the, uh, you know, the short squeeze is coming and, and uh, we're getting closer any day now. I mean, it's great to get enthusiastic and all, but just chill out, hold, it's coming but you know you're 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 getting your emotions too high all the time and um if you're investing emotionally uh you're really doing it wrong so um you know you just got to make you know a critical analysis on your stocks your entry points your exit points and try to keep your emotions down and everything will be just fine but anyways that's all i have for today you'll have a great day like i said if you have any comments any stocks any cryptos um you want information on i'll do my best to answer those questions or um get back to you but again i do have a lot of information on facebook and like i said